Hi everyone, uh, my name is Anand Govind Rajan and I am a faculty in the Department of Chemical Engineering at the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. My research group works uh, on computational modeling of materials using a variety of simulation methods and we also apply machine learning to design and discover new materials and molecules for various applications. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this NPTEL course. It is titled Machine Learning for Core Engineering Disciplines. The importance of artificial intelligence and machine learning in recent years has grown manifold. With the availability of large amounts of data, whether it is through high throughput experiments or careful simulations or high throughput curation of data has brought forth an immense possibility of understanding and ana analyzing this data. Through the tools of machine learning, we can not only gather information on the underlying patterns through the tools of unsupervised learning, but we can also use supervised learning to make predictions of unseen cases. This is particularly useful in various core engineering disciplines. So whether you are a student or a practitioner of disciplines such as chemical engineering, materials, civil, aerospace, or biochemical engineering, I'm sure you will find this course interesting from the perspective of tapping into uh, the extreme possibilities that machine learning offers. Now, ML has a number of advantages because uh, in high dimensional settings, the relationships between various variables are obscured. Now, in such a scenario, the application of ML techniques brings forth the hidden relationships and allows you to work with systems where there are no known relationships uh, between various variables and yet ML is able to act as a function approximator and is uh, able to make predictions. For example, in a chemical plant, you may want to predict what is uh, the yield of a process and try to optimize it using a multivariate data approach. In the realm of civil engineering, you may want to find the optimal design of a building. Uh, a materials engineer may be interested in finding the material or molecule that will increase the efficiency of a solar cell or an electrolyzer. And similarly, a mechanical engineer or an aerospace engineer may be interested in developing uh, the design of an aeroplane or an automobile that will lead to maximum fuel efficiency. In the realm of biochemical engineering, you can think of drug design and discovery, which can be enabled by the application of machine learning tools. So what we will do in this course is we will start with the fundamentals. We will talk about probability and statistics a little bit, and then that will lead us uh, to statistical uh, regression, where we will first work with linear regression, which is the simplest type of an ML problem. Uh, from there, we will move on to more complex things like polynomial regression uh, as well as decision trees uh, of which particularly gradient boosted decision trees are very popular for tabular data sets that are often encountered in the core engineering disciplines. We will also discuss algorithms like support vector machines, Gaussian process regression and neural networks of both feed forward and recurrent types. And finally, uh, we will talk about unsupervised learning where principal component analysis, uh, autoencoders, as well as UMAP and dbscan are some of the clustering algorithms that are used to provide insight uh, into the structure of the data that exists. Now, uh, you'll be learning a lot in this course and I hope that you work with us, myself and the TAs to make it an enriching experience for yourself. Thank you very much and I hope to see you in all the lectures of this course. Good luck.